Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Ton Ton here and I know that this has been a while since this figure, the studio series Off-Road from Mobi is released and I'm really sorry for the delay but here we are now and I must say that this is a really nice looking figure especially if you look at the Jeep mode the vehicle mode looks outstanding and it really captures the spirit of what is actually a Jeep in the real world so now let's get to the details of the vehicle talking about the driving and the feelings of the vehicle mode I must give compliment for the actual chairs of the cars as you can see they look really nice and detailed and if you look closely enough there will be some folding onto the chairs that feels like this is wrapped it in fibers and that is really nice and give us the realistic feeling the controlling wheel is also a nice aspect of this as you can see it really nice and detailed and I think that it would be in scale with an actual human but unfortunately I left my uh, parachute guy from studio, studio series shockwave somewhere else so I, unfortunately I cannot make that comparison but then moving on to the back of the car as you can see here they went extra far to make that detail of the extra wheels and the gasoline tank and to me this is just outstanding I really love these details over here just beautiful sculpted the things that I don't like about this vehicle mode will be the cables underneath the car as you can see that is clearly two arms of Bumblebee and by the way of that problem as you can see the pin between the wheels are in two different colors so I just wish that they could make it in the same colors but I guess they're just lazy I mean just a few change here and then this will be a perfect vehicle mode the windshield on this car has the same clear plastic that is really nice looking and also this front section of the car is painted see they went individual strips are painted and I really enjoy that details even the headlight is made from the clear black plastic and I really enjoy this all this detail over here that just look really nice size comparison why this is off-road bumblebee with the Volkswagen Beetle bumblebee this is the previous version of the same character in the same movie and as you see they look quite in the same scale the off-road looks slightly taller and thus it makes him look a lot stronger than this previous one here but and I have to say that they nail both of the vehicle form so I just want to find out what, which one will be better in the robot form Compared to normal Della figures, Studio Series Dropkick, the car version. So I think that the feels it might be a little bit off here because as you can see, B is slightly shorter than, but then again, he's taller. So I think the amount of plastic is the same. And thus, also in the movie, B is a smaller character. So I don't think that will be a problem. Now moving on, this is with Optimus Prime over here. And I must say they really nail the scale over here. Scaling just look beautiful, so you can just put this together and they would look really nice. You see here the scale are really perfect and I really enjoy having this figure together. And now let's get to the transformation. Upon the transformation, first I want to fold down the two chairs. Then I will turn him to the back and fold this two piece down as well. Now I want to take this whole panel out. And I want to repeat the same thing on the other side. At this point, you can split out the two legs. At this point, you can remove this yellow se section out. Then bring down the feet and rotate it. And now you will bring this whole section and hide it inside the leg. Turn it around and bring it out back like that. Then just fold out the panel. Repeat the same process with the other side. Now you want to bring out the whole arm section and then flip up this hood over here at the same time collapse the windshield in then you can start bringing out the head and when you, once you put the head inside this is fairly easy with this here First, you want to open out the two chest panel inside first. 
then bring this head front section inside and assemble the piece back okay. and the crotch you want to bring it into the back side collapse it nicely hide it away and you are done Finishing transforming Bumblebee from a jeep to its robot mode, resulting in a very screen accurate looking robot. I really love this aspect of the figure because while it kept the original feeling of Bumblebees in the movie, it also gave us a very strong and kind of bulky, if I might say, robot. If there's anything I don't like, would be a little bit of the wheels behind the shoulders. To me, that pops out is really eye soaring. But I love the way of the backpack because they managed to make it flat as flat as possible and that is why I give them really high credit about this and now I want to show you about the details and also the articulation of the figures. The first thing I want to mention is about the head sculpt as this is the normally bumpy head sculpt. It is a fairly decent head sculpt with really nice silver painted face and the Autobot logos on top. But I really don't like this design because if you turn him around and you can see the neck is proportion is really weak that is due to, due to the transformation so I kind of don't like this head sculpt, his head design and one other shameful thing that result is that this face is not changeable to the battle mask face so the, the actual thing happened is I got this figure and I tried to crack him open because I saw this ma that massive seam line but then it was no, uh, no fit so it is actually a shame because that could look really nice the upper body part is a really nice and smart engineering because while it still kept the ideas of the from the gap bending to form the chest of bumblebee it created this really nice feeling of like hiding away the actual front part but then replacing it with parts but it still makes it feels like it is in the same way and thus I really enjoy this because it has the same level of details as the original front section of the cars. About the arms, to me Bumblebee has always got a tendency of having thin and slim arms. But then after Studio Series 49 Dark of the Moon Bumblebee, I think I got a little bit void by the latest Studio Series Bumblebee because he does have a really bulky arm. But then this is for playing with accessories and now I'm gonna bring in the blade that comes with the Volkswagen Bumblebee and as you can see this is compatible with this figure by attaching the same point of attachment so you can have him have his arm a little bit of bulk up and I really enjoy that part and another accessory that can also compatible with the arms are his blaster arm so this is the same engineering as with the latest the studio series gun so you just Put it onto the hand and it would look really nice and i'm gonna bring in the guns from the old bumblebee so you can see so as you can see this gun is bigger and has more of a violent feeling to it and by attaching like this it makes the arms look really really long and also movie accurate because the thing happened with the old studio series bumblebee is that just kind of makes the arms look short and dumb but why with this one it looks really nice and I really enjoy this aspect of the figures moving on to the leg division first I must give the credit to the size part of this figure it just look how grounded and perfectly strong that is that is look just really nice and the pen just spot on this is by far the best move the movie accurate version of Bumblebee considering the side division which unfortunately the studio series number 18 wasn't able to do which is a shame and moving down to the lower leg and I must say that I really enjoy this design considering that you can hide these wheels within the leg and that just look really good and then the feet is also a highlight because this is a jeep kind of like a military vibe bumblebee so by having the feet which has a shape of a rectangular and then with this dark painted drop just look the bumblebee look really strong it also kept some aspects from the original Bobby of the Micro Bay design. Articulation wise, this head can look up that far due to transformation of course, but not really downwards because of the neck proportion. You can do a full 360 rotation. The arms are quite nice, it's on the ball joint so you can rotate but then the wheel does get into the way and it can swing out like that. We have a arm swivel here and the elbow band is decent for a transformer the hands however are fixed and you cannot move it at all 
And do we do we have a waist sw swivel here? And it's limited to the to the backpack of him. The legs can kick up that far and kick back that far. And then you do have a knee band, which is enough. The feet is on a ball joint, so it can move a little bit. And now there's also a hinge. And you can do a full rotation and a pivot. Here is the size comparison between the Studio Series number 18 or Volkswagen Bumblebee versus the new offer from V. As you can see, this Bumblebee is slightly taller. And I think I like his proportion more than the old Bumblebee. Here it is next to Studio Series Dropkick. I think they are quite under similar size, but then Dropkick does seem to be a little bulkier to the, due to his chest and the spread out doors of the car. I think they just great together. And finally, this is the with Studio Series Optimus. And I think they look great together. The scale and the size is brilliant. And I just love the fact that they just get this figure, this really good sizing and care about the scale. To me now, from now on, I would prefer this be next to this Prime rather than the Volkswagen B. So that is my review of the Studio Series Off-Road Bumblebee. I mean, this is a very good redeeming figures from the movie Bumblebee because I do hate the old Studio Series figures before. So that will be the review for today. What do you think of this figure? Give me your thought in the comment section below. And don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you guys later. Tonton out.